Hello guys, JP from JP's Pet Nation. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. In today's video, we're going to be heading over to uh, Skegness Sea Life Centre. This is where they rescue a lot of seals from around the UK, and they've got pretty much a lot of animals there. Uh, hopefully, you'll like it. Please make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed. Hit the notification bell. Also, guys, turn the bell on. Give us a subscribe. Give us a like, and leave us a little comment downstairs. I love hearing from you beautiful people. Like I say, this uh, Sea Life Centre, they do a lot of rescues in the UK, so they rescue, rehabilitate, and release as many seals as they can. Uh, as you can see in today's video, they've got some babies and they've got some older ones there as well. And they're not just a Sea Life Centre, they've got other animals as well. If you're in Skegness, guys, honestly, this place is well worth going to. It's amazing for the kids, there's a lot to do for the kids. It's just a very really nice place. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. I'll see you at the end. Oh, and I will give you some interesting facts in this video as well. Okay, guys, we're going to head over to the reptile room now, guys. This is the reptile room at the Sea Life Centre. As you can see, you've got a gorgeous crocodile outside now with the beautiful landscape outside. Let's head in now. This is the inside bit. As you can see, it's got a cave look to it. Absolutely beautiful. There's enclosures all around the place as well. And the lighting is amazing. It really adds to the atmosphere. Let's check out some of the snakes now. This is one of the corn snakes or king snakes in here. Absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, they've got enclosures all around the place. And there is some, obviously, off show at the moment. Let's head over and see this massive lizard here. Let me know in the comments what you think about this lizard. Tell me what species you think it is. I'm not sure. I think it's a Chinese water dragon, maybe. But I'm not 100% sure. And these are the terrapins they have here. I think these are sliders. Again, it's not someone I'm... 100% sure on, let me know in the comments, but I will definitely keep terrapins again myself. Let's head over to the tarantulas now, guys. This is the Chilean Rose Tarantulas setup. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, because I know a lot of you guys keep tarantulas. Do you think it's a good setup or not? Um, like I say, there is a lot of wooden beds, chairs, and things in here. I don't know if that's really good for her, but I suppose the tarantula could hide underneath that bed if she needed to. Um, they've also having got water balls in the water bowl, which is nice to see. And they've got water in there, which is really good. As you can see, the water's nice and full as well. The substrate's not too deep, and she has got a hide in the back next to the chair. She really needs to hide. As you can see, she's cleaning her fangs at the moment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Honestly, let me know in the comments what you think about this setup, because I know a lot of you guys keep tarantulas. And I love hearing from you beautiful people. Honestly, I do. Let's move over to the bigger snakes here, what they had here. This is one of the bigger constrictors to have here. As you can see, it's absolutely massive but just chilling in the sun now. Beautiful little species of snake to keep, but they are quite big. The setup's lovely as well with his own water. And these are the beautiful caimans or crocodiles they've got here. They have only got two here, and you can walk over a bridge to see them as well. They have got fish in the, in, in the water as well, as you can see. And then you've got the bearded dragon as well, which is one of the most common pets you can have in the pet trade. And then we're going to head over to something that's really cool. There's about 10 um, emperor scorpions in this enclosure. So think about the money in there and think about the breeding project in there. Because obviously emperor scorpions are endangered and very rare to keep in the hobby. So for these to keep 10 of them is amazing. Just to finish off the tour in the reptile room, check out this skeleton of the 24 African rock python. As you can see, the whole body is full of amazing skeleton. Lots of ribs there. All right, guys, let's head out to see the rest of the place and check out all the seals. I shall see you again soon.
Okay, guys, that was the aquarium at the petting zoo now. They've got a lot of fish there, as you can see. They've got salt water, fresh water, and cold water there. Absolutely amazing. This is the farm. This is some of the goats they've got here. But look at this cute little meerkat here, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Enjoying the sun, relaxing. Look at him. Just there, lying on his back, enjoying it. Both of them are really, but there is one up on top of the mountain looking as well to keep them safe. And these are the goats here, guys. As you can see, they are just coming out of their winter coats. That's why they're looking a bit tacky. Um, they're okay, actually. Just need a bit of a cut, and that's it. This is a lovely male billy goat who loves to wean his beard to attract females. And these are the beautiful penguins. They've got about five here. These are absolutely beautiful. These are an endangered species of penguins here. They're in a nice, small enclosure, I guess. Um, and there's five of them there. And these two here are a bit of love bears. I think there's a bit of breeding going off. As you can see in this video here, they're grooming each other and they wouldn't leave each other's sides. Um, they do actually mate for life. So when they pair up, penguins pair up, they pair up for life, which is pretty cool. Hopefully you liked that video, guys. Please let me know in the comments down below if you liked it. Also, check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram. And if you want to stay up to date with everything that's happening with JP Speculation, Instagram is the way to go. We've also got Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and other social medias. Check them all out, guys. And look what Corey did to me and my rabbit the other day. Yeah, of all the animals I've got and kept, he actually scratched me hand and already hurt me really badly. Blooming rabbits. But yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Like I say, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell. Follow us on all social media. And I promise you, I'll see you on Friday, hopefully. If not, I promise you, I'll see you on Monday at 2pm UK time. Bye.